Hello there, this is Stephen Clark coming at you again with another light-hearted look at the news. Eight provinces on the brink of water crisis as there is still no sign of rain in Thailand. Fake goods fire in Shanghai, burning off the piracy. Thai tourism is terrible at the moment, and unfortunately for Thailand, Vietnam is the preferred destination of a lot of tourists. But first up, 48 million baht to be spent improving Khao Son Road. You know... Chaos is what makes Bangkok, Bangkok. It's messy, it's mad, and they should never try to clean that away. That's why tourists travel to Thailand. Khao San Road is to get a 48 million baht facelift. The Deputy Bangkok Governor, Mr. Sukhutri, said the improvement is necessary as Khao San Road is one of the city's best known tourist attractions. Or should that really read? The Deputy Bangkok Governor, Mr. Sukhutri, said the improvements is necessary as Khao San Road used to be one of the city's best known tourist attractions until we took away all the street vendors. And now it's dead and everybody's going broke. This is a good one. 48 million to be spent improving Khao San Road in Bangkok. Footpaths on the famous tourist strip of Khao San Road will be repaved with clear vendors zoning established to ensure orderliness and safety according to City Hall. <laughs> yeah. The work is set to begin in October and finish in February next year at a cost of 48 million baht, said Deputy Bangkok Governor. He said the improvements is necessary as Khao San Road is one of the city's best known tourist attractions. So why did they uh, clear out all the vendors there and all the shops and clear out the road? What's wrong? Not very popular now is Khao on Road. Let's read on. The work will involve repaving the footpath and making them level all the way along the road. The surface will also be done using tiles. The street vendors will be assigned fixed trading space in the footpath with railings to clearly divide the footpath and the road for safety reasons. Altogether there will be 240 vendors trading from 9am to 9pm according to the Deputy Governor. who has also added the Kaosan Road area will be off limits to vendors with push carts, no vending stalls will be allowed to encroach on the road or trade outside the zones. Khao San Road was a very popular area once upon a time with all the little shops and things, you know, and all the little nits and crannies around and side streets and people used to love going there but uh, the government went through and took away all the stalls and killed the place. Now they're saying they're going to do this. Exciting, isn't it? I mean, the tourist industry is going bad. The authorities kick out all the vendors in Khao San Road. Khao San Road, excellent move. The present administration has a lot to answer for. Yeah, whatever. Uh, it's just it's just ridiculous. Uh, now, now, now they're going to, um, yeah, turn it into some sort of um, outside shopper mall, are they? So save your money and your time. Don't go to Calston Road. Just go to a shopping centre because that's what they're going to do with it. Uh, it's just ridiculous. Calston Road was a great attraction once and now, and now not many tourists go to it at all. Because of why? Work it out. Now they're trying to fix it now? after they've broken it. You know, this this is the one of the statements that gets me. The Deputy Bangkok Governor, Mr. Suckletree, added that Khao San area will be off limits to vendors with push carts and no vendor stalls will be allowed to encroach on the road or trade outside the zones. In other words, the prices are gonna go through the roof and nobody's gonna go there. Say, have you ever heard of that saying, if it's not broken, don't fix it? The lack of rain in eight provinces has created a water crisis like Thailand has never seen before. Five districts in Nikon Ratchasimara hit the worst. Pimai, Changpang, Nongdang, Nonsang, Praktai. They have all witnessed droughts for the last three months, which has affected 20,000 rai or 3,200 hectares of paddy fields left to parch for water. To make things worse, the locals are finding it hard to find any tap water that's all dried up. In some towns and villages in Thailand, water has been restricted or turned off during the day. All the reservoirs in the provinces are almost empty, especially P Mai Dam. And if there isn't any rain in the next few weeks, all crops will die. This is the worst drought 
Thailand is seen in living memory. The Khon Ken province, meanwhile, is urgently pumping water into the 1,000 rye of drought-hit fields. The government is desperately trying to provide irrigation. Prime Minister Major General Prayuk chan cha meanwhile, has allocated 1 billion baht to finance the expansion of the local water bodies in drought-hit provinces. And meanwhile, irrigation authorities in Chiang Mai province said 3.9 million cubic metres of water will be reserved to ensure taps do not dry up. The lack of rain has left 17 major dams in Thailand empty, or almost empty, as you can see by the diagram. If you notice in Lapbury, the dam has dropped to 4% of its capacity. Well, that's empty, isn't it? In Nong Kai, in the northwest, the Mekong is running too low to catch any fish. The level is more than 10 metres below the top of the banks on the Thai side. The news was only good, Ubon Rachatani. Also in the northwest, where a significant amount of rain fell in Tuesday, and that was credited to cloud seeding operations. At the present time, the main river in Bangkok, the Chapraya River, has had no water running into it, just a trickle. The Pitsinaluk governor, Pipat Ekapakpan, has directed agencies to closely monitor the drought situation, prepare remedies, plans for farmers, especially those growing rice and corn, and determine the need for artificial rainmaking and coordinate with the Department of Groundwater Resources in future plans. And the Army has established a centre to monitor the situation in real time so that water can be provided to the drought victims efficiently. This whole situation with the drought is going to be devastating for Thailand and Thailand's economy. Fake goods valued at 11 million baht go up in smoke in Shanghai. Yes, counterfeit stuff. Shanghai Province's Customs Department in Mai Tsai has incinerated illegal and fake items valued at over 11 million baht. Ooh. The illegal items are goods that do not follow the customs law of Thailand, aka fakes and brand copies. Yeah, well, you know, we're all guilty of that, aren't we? Most of the items were seized from the, the Thai Burmese border gate in Mai Tsai. The illegal goods were gathered and burnt District Waste Disposal Centre in Mai Tsai. Illegal goods continue to be a big issue to Thai authorities. Officials say that many sellers are turning to e-commerce to sell the products. Popular illegal goods sold online include fake designer bags, fake makeup, fake perfume. The products are often sold on Instagram, Facebook and Line. Other items that went up in smoke include illegal supplements, diet pills, medical creams, hair dye, hair products, mobile phones, horrid goods, patent infringement products and more. One of the most popular goods seized at the border are fake designer bags, fake jewellery and even fake pyjamas using famous brands such as Mickey Mouse. Yeah, you don't want Mickey Mouse pyjamas, do you? The total value of the bonfire was 11 million baht, according to a representative of the customs department. 11 million baht worth of stuff went up in smoke. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse up in smoke. What sort of pyjamas would you like to have go up in smoke? I mean, if you get counterfeit pyjamas. Do you get Mickey Mouse pyjamas? No, if I, if I was picking up pyjamas, I'd use some sort of Elephant theme, you know? Yeah. Well, the tourist industry in Thailand isn't looking very good, is it? And Vietnam's uh, offering quite a good uh, alternative. The first report from the Thai government that uh, tourist numbers were up and now has been disputed. They're not up at all. A large business operator out of Pattaya has stated the figures are much worse than the government is releasing. In fact, he's saying the outlook for Pattaya in Thailand is terrible, with Vietnam presenting a scary proposition as a competitor for tourist dollars. Here's a bombshell for you. Pattaya business claims they are down 80% this year. And the businessmen in Pattaya are saying analysts and local businesses, it was hard to find any reason to be positive. He said the, the Europeans are just not there anymore. Yes, the Russians are there in, in vast numbers, but they always have been. And, uh, and the Russians don't spend a lot of money. They also stated the Chinese tourist market was rather quiet, was just a shadow of previous years. 
By April and May, there were less and less Chinese. Far less than previous years. And unfortunately for Thailand now, people are preferring to go to Vietnam. And believe me, Vietnam wants that tourist dollar off Thailand. Vietnam has a lot of unexplored and new tourism locations. And many people are choosing to go there instead of Pattaya in particular and Thailand in general. And the big factor, Vietnam's cheaper, a lot cheaper. So what did you guys think of this video? There's some very interesting subjects in there. It'd be great to get a discussion going in the comments below. And don't forget every Saturday and Sunday night, 5 p.m. Thai time, talk back Thailand. Anyhow, that's it from me. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you very soon.